Hey everybody, welcome back inside the BT5. Brett Topel coming back at you. Wow, it's been a while. Haven't done a BT5 in a while and not gonna do a BT5 now. Instead, I'm coming at you with two really, really, really big issues I have with my favorite, and I know yours, McDonald's. First of all, could these chicken McNuggets be any worse? When chicken McNuggets burst on the scene, I was like 13 years old, they were delicious with the best barbecue sauce ever. Who knows what was inside these Chicken McNuggets? Nobody really knew, other than the fact that it was a combination of white meat, dark meat, this and that, and that and this. But in 2003, they made the fatal flaw of going all white meat. Why fatal? Because I've wanted to kill myself ever since they've done that, okay? I guess it's near fatal, not quite fatal. But here's the thing. They were swayed by the trends of the early 2000s, the now debunked studies that white meat is healthier than dark meat. It is not. It is not. I'll tell you what it is. Dry like sawdust. Dry like sawdust. And every fast food establishment went all white meat. And McDonald's, even though they're the best, they followed along. They should have led the way and said, not only are we not going to serve mixed white and dark meat nuggets anymore, we're going to sell exclusively dark meat. Exclusively dark meat. So I have to tell you, that was 2003. It's been 22 years. Why am I talking about it now? It's worse than ever, my friends. Worse than ever. If you, unless you get them at like 10.59 and 30 seconds in the morning when they open and start serving lunch at 11. Well, they're open, open for breakfast, but they start serving lunch at 11. Unless you get it at that exact moment when it comes out of the fryer, it is complete and utter dry towel that you're eating. It is terrible. Not even the luscious barbecue sauce, the tangy honey mustard, the hot mustard from back in the day, the pure honey packet, the sweet and sour, or God bless these crazy new sauces they're coming up with, mambo, sambo, pambo, mambo. No sauce can save these nuggets. They are atrocious. Number two, number two. As we all know, and we've talked about many times, McDonald's makes the best Diet Coke. There's not even a close second. However, paper straws, you're killing me. I gotta suck my delicious Diet Coke out of what becomes a wet gauze pad in my mouth after sip number two. That is atrocious. And don't tell me it's a, a, a state thing because I got McDonald's all over the place serving me plastic straws, but a few McDonald's trying to save the world. Listen, if you're drinking green juice in the morning, a salad in the afternoon, and some kind of a sensible dinner, uh, you're part of the problem. I can't help that. You're part of the problem. You're not helping me in any way, shape, or form. A paper straw at McDonald's is unnecessary, and if, follow me on this, it's cruel. It's cruel because what it does is it takes away the unbelievable pleasure of drinking that disgustingly good, disgustingly good Diet Coke. So no paper straws. What I'd like them, to, by the way, the paper straws, similar consistency to the white meat chicken McNuggets. Until the next time, I'm getting all worked up right now. I gotta be honest with you, I'm, I'm heading to McDonald's right now. I'm gonna order an, a 10 piece, a large fry and a large Diet Coke um, with, to a, with a McDonald's that I know sells a plastic straw because I, I, I'm not just, I'm, I'm not that environmental. I, I, I'm not gonna be part of the solution, but I'm also not gonna be part of this problem. This is a different problem. This is a real problem. And this is my problem and it's your problem. Until next time, my friends.